Welcome back to the channel, cousins. Today I have a great recipe for you guys today. You can connect with me on all my social media platforms. Look me up on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, y'all. But most importantly, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel today. Today we are going to learn how to make oxtail rasta pasta, y'all. Okay, I'm not Jamaican, so calm down. These are my oxtails that were clean, that were patted dry. I added a little oil. Next, I'm going to season them with some paprika, some tony sachery, some garlic powder, some onion powder, and some holy trinity. I told y'all I just found this season at Walmart. And y'all, besides putting the onion and bell pepper in your food, baby, it adds a little razzle-dazzle to it. So that holy trinity season, that's what's up. Plus, I added some cayenne pepper to my to my meat and this right here this right here that smoked onion and paprika baby let me tell you also this is the key flavor and browning seasoning for when you brown your meat this is your key to making a homemade gravy y'all because oxtails beef meat basically makes its own good succulent gravy you just gotta know how to get it out of there so now we're gonna mix up everything make sure our seasons are all evenly on all sides on all pieces of our meat and this is how we should look very well seasoned baby we don't want any bland food around here Okay, this is how it should look. Next, and oh, you guys, I'm cooking this in a slow cooker, okay? Before y'all get on me, look, I'm seven months pregnant. And I ain't got time to be standing up, okay? So, brown your meat in your slow cooker. I'm going to show you the slow cooker that I'm using, y'all. Heaven sent from Walmart, baby. You can braise and brown your meat and do everything all in one. This is how your meat should look. Turn it over about one or two minutes on each side. This is how we look. And once your meat is browned on each side, we're going to add our onion, our bell peppers. First, I added my bell peppers. Then I'm going to add my onions. This is how we looking, y'all. Oh, we look good already. Next, we're going to add our onions. And then we're going to blend that all together and let our veggies, veggies soften up. Mix it up well. Let that meat brown. Let those veggies brown. Y'all, this is your key to a good gravy, y'all. And also, in between, I forgot to film it. I also added a little flour. Just a tad bit so I can make me a nice little gravy. As you can see. And now, I'm just going to add three bottles of water. It all depends on... How much oxtails you cooking? And like I said, I'm cooking this in the slow cooker and I am making a pasta. This is the slow cooker, y'all. Baby, heaven sent. You can bake, sear, braise, everything. Next, we're going to work on our sauce for our pasta. Now, we're just browning and searing our veggies with, in a little butter. Just brown them. Well, saute them. I'm sorry. In a little butter until they're soft. We're going to add some heavy whipping cream. And let that come to a tad boil. Not on high, you guys. Like a medium high heat. We don't want it to burn, y'all. Next, we're going to add our cheese. After we season, don't over season your sauce. I use basically Tony's garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, cayenne in my cream before i added my cheese this is the type of cheese that i use the cheddar melt i didn't put too much because you don't want your sauce to be too thick because i wasn't cooking too much and i also had my noodles boiling on the side i know y'all know how to boil noodles okay so i wasn't even about to go there with y'all so let that cheese get in there and i also added like a few pinches of parmesan i had to go back and season my sauce again y'all because I don't like no bland food. Now, if you work in this on medium high heat, this is the consistency that you should get. But it's all about what you want, what you're comfortable with, and what you like to eat. I'm only kind of giving you the blueprint of what you need to do. So, I just was mixing my sauce, making sure everything was all good. Next, I chopped up some oxtails once I got them out of the slow cooker, y'all. Added it back to my sauce. Mix that up a little bit to let those flavors combine. 
to make sure everything was seasoned up real good. Mix that up, cousins. So I just was mixing, mixing, mixing. We almost done, I promise you. Don't let me lose you. This is simple. Next, we're going to add gradually add our noodles in. Because you don't want to put too little noodles. Then it's soup and you don't want to put too much. And then you're going to dry it out and you're going to have a dry pasta. So you're going to gradually add in how much noodles you need. So you can get that consistency that you need for your pasta. Me, I didn't cook that much. So basically, this is how it turned out once you mix every thing together next i got some of the meat out of the slow cooker and i seared it a little bit so i could just put it on top for a good little presentation y'all to lock some of that flavor in it because baby them oxtails was falling off the bone so i just seared it a little bit on each side so i could place it on top of the pasta added some of that oxtail gravy and this is how it turned out y'all tell me what you think